Have you ever noticed how people try to tame the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ by portraying him as an actor, uh, with portraying him with some images, some sentimental uh, um, flowers and others? But that is not the real Jesus Christ, and the resurrection is real. And this morning, I'd like us to read from John chapter 20, here from St. Stephen's ACK Red Hill in the Diocese of Mortenia South, and I'm Reverend Aaron Murada. John 20 says that now, uh, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciples, the one, the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to him, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they had laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple, and they were going toward the tomb. Both of them were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. And stopping, stopping to, stopping to look in, he saw the linen clothes lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen clothes lying there and the face cloth which had been, which had been on Jesus. Jesus' head on laying with the linen cloth but folded up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in and saw, that, and, saw and believed. For as they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead, then the disciples went back to their homes. We see here Mary Magdalene. And he was called Magdalene because he came from a place called Magdala on the western shore of Galilee. She experienced the incredible healing when Jesus drove seven demons from her in Luke chapter 8 and verse 2. And Mary Magdalene became a faithful and courageous disciple of Jesus Christ. And now we see her getting into the tomb in the morning and realized that there was nothing. And she thought maybe Jesus was a gardener. But there are many things that we, know we need to know about the resurrection. Why do we prefer the resurrection and how do we refer it? The resurrection message is Mary's testimony that I have seen the Lord. In John chapter 20 and verse 18, she says that I have seen the Lord. The other disciples who reached the tomb first also saw and believed in verse 8, as we have just read. So, may I ask, what do you see in your life? Do you see many things? Do you see sweet pictures of Jesus Christ with cherubs and children, a picture on a Sunday school wall hmm, that demands nothing of you? Or do you see the death defying, victorious Christ who defeated sin so that you might have resurrection power to live a life that pleases God. Today, see this risen Lord and see every benefit that God brings with this resurrection. And he has poured his blessings to us. And we here at St. Stephen's, we need to remind you, we need to be resurrected out of the grave of pain, desperation, and certainties, we do not know what or how long we'll be at home. Our churches have been closed, the schools have been closed, factories are closing, offices are closing, every part is locking down in the whole universe, and also Kenya being one of this universe. But let it be a morning that will give us that hope. What do you see this morning? Mary saw the resurrected Lord. Let us have another life. Let us have another worldview amidst all that we are going through. Let us be hopeful people. Let us be people who do not believe in just many other stories. Whom will you believe? Whose report will you believe? Prophecies are coming from servants of God like me. Others are saying that the world is becoming, coming to an end. It's being wound up on the 12th. And today is just a day before it is wound up. So I do not know, or even today. Those are prophets. But the day to remember and to keep and to put in our hearts is our resurrected Lord. Whether it is world today or not, 
whether you take another 1,000 years or not, what is important is to know that our God has defeated death and he will defeat even this corona, this COVID-19. The pain that is in our hearts, the uncertainties, the depression that people have, people have lost their beloved ones, but our God is faithful. It is from St. Stephen's Red Hill, from the hope on a hill, that we bring this hope of the resurrected Lord. I'm Reverend Harun Murada.